We recently went behind the scenes of the Shakespeare Theatre of New Jersey's production of Pericles. A rarely produced late work, Pericles is Shakespeare's epic reimagining of a popular tale from ancient Greece. So this is our last chance to do it without an audience. Today is about getting all the final elements together, adding in costumes, lights, finessing, those sort of things. We'll do a run through tonight and we'll see how everything that we've done over the last four days, adding the technical elements, has added to the work that we've been doing with the actors for the last four weeks. So this is a very kind of stressful period that you're putting everything together. It can either really work or it's not going to gel. I think we're in good shape on this, so I feel pretty good there. No, no, you were fine. What you did this time was exactly right. So the end of the scene, we'll see it when we get there. So, okay. So yeah, let's go great. ahead and give it a try. Great. Excellent. Feels so good. I'll, I'll yeah. take it in that corner as well. My daughter thinks very well of you. So well indeed that you must be her master. I am unworthy. She thinks not so. Peruse this writing else. What's here? A letter that she loves the night of time. Oh. Oh. oh, seek not to entrap me, gracious lord, a stranger and distressed gentleman that never aimed so high to love your daughter, but bent all offices to honor her. Thou hast been if you think you don't like Shakespeare, this is the Shakespeare to see. I like this play because it is so different from other Shakespeare's. It is uh, grand epic storytelling, which some Shakespeare is, but in this kind of uh, Arabian Nights or Gulliver's Travels or these kind of large epic scale stories. Keep it, my Pericles. It hath been a shield twixt me and death, and then pointed to the brace. For that it saved me, keep it in like necessity, though which the gods protect thee from, may defend thee. It's funny, during a, I think during the first table read, some, some of the actors had suggested that there's minor parallels to the Christmas Carol in the sense that there's a, uh, this kind of resurrection of, of um, joy and, and, and soul at the end where everything that you, you thought was lost was not and you have a, a, a second chance at life. Th there are some hints at that which I can see are, are, would make this production kind of perfect for a holiday show, even though people might not think at first hearing Pericles, but it really is, it's inspiring and it's, it's heartwarming. Actually, in Shakespeare's day, it was a huge hit. Um, and it, it, unfortunately, it was bad timing. Um, it was very popular right off the bat when it was written. Um, and shortly after that, the uh, theaters were closed due to a, a particularly um, enthusiastic uh, strike of the plague. And uh, the theaters closed down for a couple years, I believe, at that point. Uh, it was so bad. Monarchs do. He's more secure to keep it shut than shown. Kings are Earth's gods. In vice, their law is their will. And if Joe... There's tremendous courage in him and, and seeking adventures, seeking honor. But there is also a naivete about him, just kind of blindly rashly rushing forward into things without really thinking. I think during the play, if there is an arc to Pericles, it's uh, this maturity develops in him uh, and a wisdom and a life perspective where, where when he is finally reunited with his wife and daughter, he really has a deep and profound appreciation for that union. Here, where his daughter dwells, and on this coast, Suppose him now, as, as if by the gods contrived. The Lord Helicanus can resolve you, sir. Hail, reverend sir. Good. Guys, God. that was perfect. Other than one thing. It has this message of no matter how horrific the world can get and how horrific and beaten down that you can feel, there's still a possibility of redemption and still a, ha a possibility of a happy ending and a reunion and exactly what we want the holidays to be. Lest this great sea of joys rushing upon me overbear the shores of my mortality and drown me with their sweetness. Oh, come hither, thou that begetst him, that did thee beget. Thou that was born at sea, buried at Taurus, and found at sea again. 